of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Merry Christmas, everyone. Come, let us process to the crash of Bethlehem. beginning of creation, you have made manifest your love. When our need for a Savior was great, you sent your Son to be born of the Virgin Mary. To our lives he brings joy and peace, justice, mercy, and love. Lord, bless all who look upon this manger. May it remind us of the humble birth of Jesus and raise up our thoughts to him who is God with us and Savior of all and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You gather into one family all your scattered children. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. In song, let us now proclaim the glory of God. God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, You Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the most. Jesus Christ, the, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year as we wait in hope for our redemption, grant that just as we joyfully welcome your only begotten Son as our Redeemer, we may also merit to face him confidently when he comes again as our judge, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. For Zion's sake, I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet. Until her vindication shines forth like the dawn and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication and all the kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name 
pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more shall people call you forsaken or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight and your land espoused. For the, del- for the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. As a young man mar- marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall God rejoice in you. The word of God. Thank you to God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul reached Antioch in Pisidia and entered the synagogue, he stood up, motioned with his hand and said, fellow Israelites and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out of it. Then he removed Saul and raised up David as king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, what do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son, and he named him Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. Vesovego vojego narodzenia, bon Natale, and Merry Christmas. Polish. Italian and English, or at least I try in the other languages. (laughs) It's a work in progress. Our servers and everyone who prepared the church, what a wonderful sacrifice for the living God. I told some of our servers before the Mass, I think with such a mild day today for Christmas, we should begin the procession by going outside and around the church, 14 degrees But for those of you watching on TV or who will watch later from Florida, the current temperature in St. Petersburg is 44 degrees Fahrenheit, so not much warmer in Florida. Statistically, most of us in this assembly are mothers and fathers. And God has blessed you with a wonderful vocation in serving another human being as mother or father to your son or your daughter. And you have fulfilled this ministry, I hope and pray, with great joy and hope. And not only do you provide heat on a very cold night, but you provide all the basic needs of life, all to your means and to what God has allowed you in order to be able to provide for your sons and your daughters. You, among all of us here in this assembly as mothers and fathers, will know in the heart the sacrifices involved, not just in adding lights to a home for Christmas, for those who decorated their homes with beautiful displays, but to be light for others, like your children, is a much harder enterprise, and certainly we need the help of Heavenly Father in order to do this. You will know very well the scene of the crash of Bethlehem when Mary and Joseph had very little knowledge of what would happen to Jesus, but still they cared for him, listening to the voice of God, understanding what their role would be in the history of salvation and to help and aid this Jesus in his human time among us, though he was God as well, human like us in all things except sin. But they sacrificed to the end so that the boy Jesus was very comfortable and had a home and a heart filled with great joy. We can put ourselves in this scene because you know what it takes to be a mother and father, more so than those of us who are not mothers and fathers in the biological sense. But it is that vocation to service that God calls us all to one way or another. We examine closely the humility of the stable. Jesus, God the Son with us, 
comes among us as a helpless and as a vulnerable person. And in this way, Jesus, the Son of God, shares very much in the pains and the trials of life. Because you will know that being a mother and father is not always an easy enterprise. In fact, very difficult, rewarding and blessing, but yet difficult at times too. Not just with the 3 a.m. wake-up calls in order to soothe your crying son or daughter, but also later on in life when there are other separations or distresses that come along in life. But there you are, even as a grandmother and grandfather, you will continue to be with your young at the stable because in your humility, you will be like Jesus. God is with us day by day, exercising the humble way of Jesus, being born in a stable. I heard this the other day and I thought I would share this with you which is a reflection from an Australian nurse from 2012. What are the top five regrets of those who are dying? Let us see if these resonate with us on the day of Jesus, our light. Number one, I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. I wish I hadn't worked so hard. I wish I'd had the courage to express my feelings. I wish I had stayed in touch with my friends. I wish I had let myself be happier. In her ministry as a nurse, she compiled into these categories all the top five regrets of those who were close to falling asleep in the Lord. And maybe some of those points resonate with us in one way or another, or maybe all five. Life is precious. Life is short. It is a time for sacrifice, a time of being, not just a time of doing, and hustle bustle and running around. Yes, it's important to be laborers of sacrifice for sons and daughters, but it is also important to be people who simply are, people who take time to view the miracle of Jesus' birth and how it is that God becoming man has transformed us into the way of peace and hope in him. He came in humble surroundings and he still comes among us in a humble way, in the form of bread as the body of Christ. If one of those five points have resonated with us as a top five regret of the dying, it's time to bring the tabernacle of the heart close to Jesus. And it is time to tell him, the Savior of the world, what the challenges and struggles of the heart may be, that we may be closer to him, closer to his people for the such short amount of time that we have remaining here on this earth, here to be the best disciples that we can be for our sons and daughters and grandsons and granddaughters and nieces and nephews, let's not forget, parents too that we care for. We have each been entrusted with a sacred vocation in him. And because of his light, we can all arrive at the creche of Bethlehem and all adore him who calls us to work for joy and peace and love in our world and in our homes. Christmas blessings. Now today, for the Nicene Creed, the Church asks us, for those whose health permits, to genuflect during certain words, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
We'll do that pausing in between our genuflections, again, if your health permits. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now pray for one another in the church, elevating the intentions of our hearts to Heavenly Father. For the church, that Christ may be born in our hearts so that we may bring God's love and hope to all whom we encounter, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of light, that God will enlighten the lives of all who are searching and help them recognize the path of life and meaning in Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are new parents, that they may recognize the gift of God that they hold and faithfully nurture their child whom the Lord has entrusted to them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have no gifts this day, particularly children, that they may experience being loved this day and strengthened by the gift of friendship, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are traveling or away from home, particularly missionaries and members of the military, that God will guide their movements, preserve them in love, and bring them home safely, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are ill, that the peace of Christ may sustain them in their trials, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have fallen asleep in the Lord, that they may rest in the peace of the living God, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. For the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. Let us entrust all of our prayers and all of our cares to the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Mother. Together, Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we ask all of these prayers through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, O Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, O Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Brothers and sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we look forward, O Lord, to the coming festivities, may we serve you all the more eagerly for knowing that in them you make manifest the beginnings of our redemption. Through Christ, our Lord, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, 
and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Edward Scharfenberger, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, most merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance into your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, everyone. Peace be with you. 
uh, the other gold bowl, please. Thank you. Lamb of God, may this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments. Never let me be parted from you. I would ask for reception of Holy Communion today, that you adhere closely to the direction of our dear ushers, as you come forward, and I thank you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ. The 
body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity.
and a faith formation program were invited to participate in a children's choir. And these three great fourth graders stepped forward to learn a new song. It is a calm and response which means that if you're comfortable, we would love for you to repeat after the children. Our young ladies, Maya and Ava Grace, will sing the praises first, and our young gentleman, Alex, will lead you to the most part. The lyrics for the song will be, In a stable, in a manger, lies a baby, a baby boy. His name is Jesus. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that we may draw new vigor from celebrating the nativity of your only begotten Son, by whose heavenly mystery we receive both food and drink, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Choicest blessings to you on this Christmas night and Happy New Year 2023. May God shower you with abundant joy and hope all the days of your life. The Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Flesh the Godhead see 